Good morning, guys. Welcome to day two of the Caribou Lodge excursion. Bad news. It is freaking windy out. It is so windy. It's supposed to be like this all day, 37 kilometers an hour. Uh, we're going to try our best to get on and make use of the day. Try for Lakers still, uh, but definitely play it safe. We got Colin and Evan it's beside us. I'm gonna watch here. We're just getting the boats ready right now, and then I uh, gotta get out there, venture out. Norm's gonna take us out, show us a couple spots for Lakers, and then uh, we should try to stay out of the wind and try to catch some fish. That's all we can do. But super, super smoky still. It's supposed to rain a bit today too. We'll see. Stay tuned. We'll see how this goes. On the water, and it is still windy. Still very windy. It's coming literally right down the lake. As we call it, right down the pipe. Is that what we're calling? Yeah, right down right the pipe. Shoot. Right down the chute, so got all three boats. Norm over there. Gonna go see if we can track down some lake trouts and get there safely. So until we get there, we'll survive. We'll see you soon. Doing some auto trading right now, trying to uh, find where the drop off is and uh, see where the deep holes are. But we're marking a few fish in like 60 ish feet of water and then a little bit on top, like 25. So it could be some decent walleye here too if Lake Chow doesn't pan out. Well, guys, welcome to the rodeo. It's a little windy out here, it kind of feels like clear water. Uh, Rick's got a spoon he's casting out, ripping in. I got a Sinclair jig right now with a big. Creek chub, just kind of sitting on the bottom. I was just tying up my other rod. If uh, I'm gonna start jigging, I'm gonna try a TC Moto tube jig. It's got a little stinger hook on it. I'll probably throw a piece of sucker belly or uh, minnow on it just for some little scents and some baits. But other than that, we're just gonna give it a whirl. We're marking a few fish. We're 65 feet of water, so now the waiting game begins and uh, anticipation of what can happen. That's why they call it fishing and not catching. So, yeah. Worms hooked up. It looks like a big monster, hopefully. Oh, there it is. Not horrible. It's a fish. Howdy guys, how's it going? Norm is on his second fish right now. Evan and Colin got one, 31 incher, nice fish. Me and Rick are uh, catching these sun UV rays. Just kidding, it's very smoky, but uh, not not catching anything yet. I had a bite, he had a bite. I just uh, cut the tulipy or white fish I caught yesterday, just throwing that on bottom right now. That's what Norm's doing, just lying some dead bait. And yeah, it's only 8.30, so we got lots of fishing left, but I wanna break this ice and uh, get that skunk out of this boat so we're gonna keep fishing and we will catch one and it's gonna be a big one I think that's the plan it's always the plan never goes as plan though no. so yeah stay tuned all right we're doing some auto charting now not we were marking a few but nothing really spectacular so we're gonna try a couple different areas around this island here and just uh, see some depths find some deeper holes and hopefully I uh, get us our first laker but yeah Norm from uh, Caribou River, he's just using a, a giant tube of your white fish and just throwing it on bottom and leaving it there. So we got some creek chubs that we're gonna try with. Um, and then I got the one from yesterday we're cutting up and using, so yeah. Well folks, fast forward till now. And our boat caught zero lake trouts, unfortunately. Um, Colin and Evan, they got two, two solid ones. We had like a bite and that was about it. It was a pretty slow morning. Just doing a lot of mapping, trying to find some deeper points, deeper holes, but we're headed back out now. Had a great, great lunch. Norm cooked us up. Once again, link in the description if you want to book a trip of a lifetime at a five-star resort. This place is amazing. Bowl launch right here, cabin right there, office 
right behind me. And uh, the motel looks over the lake, it's beautiful. So yeah, just start charge up some batteries for the GoPro and the camera. And now we're gonna get back out there, and get a lake trout, it's coming. Put in the work, and hopefully you'll be rewarded. Hopefully we're gonna be rewarded and get that fish. So stay tuned till we're back out on the water. Oh, there's a... Nice. As it was dropping down, I was like, ooh. Yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. On the chest mount. First fish. Nice. It doesn't feel huge, but a fish is a fish right now. Nice! Yeah! Woo! Finally! <laughs> nice! Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's what I said. I said before we left, remember? So I'm gonna catch you on this, it's a matter of time. You said you were. Thank you. After a crazy hard grind back out after lunch, I finally hooked into the first lake trout of the trip on second cranberry. It's a uh, very nice fish, very thick, very healthy. We're gonna give it a quick measurement. Settles down. 28 inches. Beautiful fish. Awesome, and it fought very hard too. So on a little Cleo, I'm gonna give it, throw it back real quick. Ooh. Off she goes. Very nice, and this is all I was using. Changed up right before lunch to a uh, silver blue little Cleo with a little piece of tulipy. And that's what did it. Awesome, now Rick's turn, because I'm done, skunks out of the boat. I'm gonna set it, ready? Yeah, fish on. Dead bait on bottom, guys. Woo! Start the other camera? No, it's good, it's good, it's on. Not big. I'll go to the right here. Good. 
Nice. Saw the rod tip going. Another one on there too. Had my uh, bail open, saw some line going out, lift it up, set the hook. Oh, that's a nice one! Oh. That's a nice one! <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> nice! Oh my god, no way! Did you see that? Did you see that? That's a good one. Oh, baby! Mark the spot! Alrighty, guys, we did it again. I don't think it's a crazy long fish, but it might be my PB. I had it full Cisco lying on bottom, had my drag set open, and uh, I saw it peeling line, lifted it up, set the hook, and uh, I thought it was going to be a little bit smaller, but it, it is a very nice fish. Ah. Check it out! Cranberry Lake Trout! A quick measurement. 29 and a half. Hey, I'm gonna release you, I'm gonna release you. Relax, 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 fishy, relax. All right, one more look. Ah We're gonna go back on this side. She fought hard, so. Just pulled her in. Fat, fat fish. Well, that was pretty awesome. Fought pretty good. That's two fish in half an hour now. Um, this might be the last time you're seeing it out of the big camera because if you look behind us, that looks like a lot of rain and I don't feel like getting my camera soaked. So it might just be chest mount only. If not, we'll continue with the big camera. Um, but Rich just threw on a Cisco down at the bottom. There's actually a big fish just on bottom. I don't know if you can see that guys. Very tough, yeah, right there. That's a big fish. So we're in the right area. It's just a matter of time before we get that monster, but that is a large fish and it is suspended. Rick, lift up your lure. Catch you on the GoPro or if it doesn't rain, on the camera. That is gonna wrap up day two here at Caribou Lodge on the Cranberry Chain. We fished all evening after the storm. We only got a, a walleye, a little hammer handle, and one sucker, but a solid sucker that we're gonna use tomorrow for bait for some more lake trout. The morning was really slow. The afternoon, we got I managed to get two within like 45 minutes and we got chased off by the storm. Uh, but overall, great day. Tomorrow's not supposed to be as windy. So, we're gonna repeat everything today, head back to the dock, charge up the batteries, fill up with gas, and then get ready for tomorrow, get some good shut eye, so we can come out and catch some lake trout. It is Rick's turn tomorrow. I got my two, I'm happy, I'd love another one, but Rick's gotta get one now too. And uh, yeah, if you're new here, click that subscribe button, and hope you enjoy the video. Stay tuned to the next episode of Matsuma Fishing Adventures, out here at Caribou Lodge.